folks, welcome back to another episode of Active Kids TV. We've Woo! got Teacher Alex. Hello, and we got Teacher Mark over here. Hey, everybody. And we are in a month of May, so everybody say, hey, May. Hey, May. And May starts with a big M. M. You know what does not start with a big M? The number 27. That's how many jumps we have to do. Good segue, Teacher Mark. So if you're ready, let's do 27 jumps and go. Oh, one, one two, 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 three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten, ten, eleven, eight, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27! Phew, good job. Teacher Alex, how are we going to do our Days of the Week? You know what, Teacher Mark? I just heard some Bon Jovi in the car, so I want to sing the Days of the Week like a rock star. Oh, I'll be right. on guitar. Are you ready? I can do some drums. You're the drummer. Ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days in the week, and let's sing them today! It's time for our Good Day and Hello song, and today we're going to sing like a cowboy or cowgirl. So get your cowboy, cowgirl hat, and let's sing Good Day and Hello! Good Day and Hello! Good Day and Hello! And squat! down low. Good day and hello. Good day and hello. Good day and hello. And squat down low. Turn to the left. Yeehaw! Turn to the right. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Reach up to the sky. Whoop! And down we fly. fly. Yeehaw! Teacher Mark, do you like my... <laughs> It's time for some active animals. We have got Urus, the red squirrel, Ooh. one of my favorite characters. And we've got Ip, the spotted seahorse. All right. He's pretty funny. We are gonna do one hop across. So this is a plyometric. It's not big hops, it's little tiny hops. You wanna pop really fast. Little hops. You can two lines of your nose. Hop, 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 just like that. And hop, hop, hop. Oh, we're doing just one. You only have to do one. That's right. the game. And now we've got eight skips. So, Teacher Alex, when you skip, you're just driving one knee up high. One knee up. One. Bounce with the other foot. Two. Bounce. Three. Bounce. Four. Bounce. Five. Bounce. Six. Bounce. Six. Bounce. Six. Bounce. Six. Thanks for counting, Teacher Mark. Nice job. All right, it's time to do some alphabet letters. Woo. So today what we're going to do is on yellow, blue, and green, we're going to shake our hips. Shake, 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 shake. Just like that, okay? So if you guys are ready, help us sing along. And remember, ready. yellow, blue, green, shake, shake, shake your hips. Ready? Let's all sing together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now we know our ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Teacher Mark, those hips don't lie. Kids Nightly News. I'm your host, Hugh Can't Touch This, and I have my co-anchor here, Hootie the Owl. Hello, Hugh! Hello, how are you doing today? I'm doing very good! Although it was raining, though my wings are a little wet! All right, enough Do small talk. Feel? It's time to get to the night stop story. John McFadden, the 10-time world champion of tic-tac-toe, has lost. Over to Hootie for commentary. Yeah, do you know why he lost, did you, Mark? Why? I think he wasn't thinking straight. Instead of putting X's or O's on the board, he tried putting his thumbprint. Yes, a peculiar strategy that did not work out for him. Very risky. Over to teacher Alex now. We're going to do some letter writing to make the word black. Oh, boy. All right, boys and girls, it's time to write the word black. I have a black marker here. And teacher Mark said I can write the word today because... I'm wearing all black. So let's start with a big letter B. We're going to do one line down and we're going to give him two big bumps. Whoop, just like that. Whoop, there's our letter B. Then we're going to do a letter L. 
another line down just like before but then we give him a nice flat ground just like that then we're gonna do a big letter a so we come up make a big point come down but don't forget he has a monkey bar right in the middle there we go and then we're gonna do a big letter C, stretch him all the way, just like that, and a letter K, we go one line down, just like our B, and just like our L, but this time, it's like you're putting a sideways V right in the middle, that is the word black, now boys and girls, let's try and draw something black, let's draw a black cat, I'm gonna give him two ears, there we go, I'm gonna give him a special little nose, just like that. And some whiskers. Kitties have whiskers. There we go. And I'm going to give him a silly side smile because he's up to something. I wonder what he's up to. There is our black cat. And that is the word black. Give it a try at home. Boys and girls, because it's the color black day, we're looking for things that are black. Like this beard. Oh. Is this door black? No. But is this door black? Yeah. I don't have any black hair. Mr. Schmeez doesn't have any black hair. Captain Hook does. And Jake does too. Is this hat black? Is this hat black? Yeah! We've got some mats on the wall. Black, white, black, white, black, white, black. Thanks for your help. Wow, that teacher Alex did an amazing job. Hey, Hootie. Very good letters! And he dressed the part, too. Oh, yeah! All right, it's over to now to our friend Zookeeper Zach with a new word challenge for you guys. I would do the Zookeeper Zach, but the hat, the hat did not fit on me! Hey, boys and girls! Keeper here, excited to go on another adventure with you. And guess who I brought with me? My friend Fuzzy. How you doing, Fuzzy? I'm doing good, Zach, but one of these days, maybe we could get a hat that actually fits me. Oh, I think that hat fits you perfectly. Now today, we're gonna look for words that finish with the letters I, T. All right, so let's go find some letters in the jungle and see if we can make some words. You ready, Fuzzy? I'm super ready. Hopefully my hat doesn't fall. Oh, oh, I got you. Don't you worry. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Here we go. All right, boys and girls, let's see if we can find some letters to add to the beginning of our word. Fuzzy, do you see any letters anywhere? Uh, Zach, right above your head. Watch out. Ooh. Oh, there's a letter. Look, it's the letter S. Let's take this letter and put it at the beginning of our word. Now, what does that say? S -s -s Sit. Oh, sit, like sit down. Oh, Fuzzy, you're sitting on something. Looks like it's a, it's a lava rock. Oh, it's very hot. Oh! oh, oh don't worry, I'll, I got it. I'm just kidding, oh. you silly goose, it's okay. Oh, you're good, oh, I'm you're okay. such a- Thank you for fixing my hat. You're welcome. That was a great word, let's keep looking. We're looking for our second letter to add to our word. Let's keep looking around, do we see- Oh, Fuzzy, look, there's one right underneath you. Ah, get it, get it, get uh, it! Get it, it's the letter P. Let's put it all the way up here and look. Oh, it's begun our word. Okay, ready? P-I-T spells pit. Great job, a pit. Oh no, Fuzzy, I think we've fallen into a pit. Ah, we gotta get out of here. Come quick, on, reach quick. into my pocket, there's oh, a ladder. Okay. Oh, thank you, here we go. Oh, that was close. Whoa. Oh, that was a scary word. We gotta be careful what we make. All right, let's look for another letter. Let's go. All right, adventurers, let's see if we can find one more letter. Fuzzy, do you see anything anywhere? Um, I do not. Whoa, Zach, watch out, oh. right on your shoulder. Oh my, oh my goodness, right over here. Okay, um, it's the letter H. Let's add this to the beginning of our word. H. I T spells hit. Hit like you could hit a baseball with a baseball bat. You could. What else could you hit, Fuzzy? Um, you could hit oh a jukebox when it starts working, and then you could go hey. Ooh, that's a great idea too. And last but not least, we could hit the road. Time to see you later, kids. Thanks for your help. See you later. Okay. Great stuff from Zookeeper Zach. And now, Hootie, you've got something special for us. Is that correct? Yes, I 
think it is called a pattern party. Although we did not do much pattern party. It's more about learning. And then we party after. Sounds like fun. Let's go there now. It's pattern party time, everybody. Get your toys, your blocks, your Duplo, Lego, whatever it is. We're gonna make some patterns. Well, that's why we were dancing. That's right, it's a pattern party. Oh, I thought the McRib was back. Uh, no, but now I'm hungry. Sorry. All right, we've got some different patterns on this board. We've got an orange square, blue diamond, orange square, blue diamond. What do you think comes next, Mr. Hootie? Orange square, blue diamond. Orange square! Wow, you rocked that. Yeah, that's right. It's an orange square. That's Thank pretty you. cool. So boys and girls, patterns, remember, those are when things repeat. And these ones were going off of colors today. So what we're gonna do is we've got some of our own blocks right here. And we're gonna make our own pattern, Mr. Hootie. Can you help me out? What okay! You, what should go first, the green or the purple? Green! Let's put a green on the table just like that. And then we'll put a purple right beside. And then a green and a purple and a green and a purple. Now let's look at our pattern. Can you see something repeating? It goes green, then purple, green, then purple. And what would come after this purple one here? Uh, I'm nervous, elephant! Oh, sorry, not elephant! Good guess. Green. That's right, it's green. Boys and girls, did you guys guess green? I sure hope so. And after the green, what comes the last one is? Purple, that's right. Just like so, your shirt, did you mark? That's right, my shirt is very purple. And our pattern has greens and purples in it. Now remember, patterns repeat just like that. I've got one more cool one, Mr. Hootie, for our pattern party. We've got some Lego blocks here. I'm gonna take a blue one, put it down first, and we're gonna build it up. Now what would, do you think comes after this pink one right here? So I've got blue, pink, blue, pink. Blue! That's right, it's blue. And then what comes next, boys and girls? That's right, it's pink. pink! And then what comes next? Blue! And? Pink! And? Blue! And? Pink! And? Blue! And? Pink! And look at that. Elephant! Oh, sorry, did you mark? I got nervous! That's okay. Look at that pattern, Mr. Hootie. What do you think? It's beautiful! Yeah, boys and girls, let's see if you guys can make some cool patterns for our pattern party! Woo! Hey! Did you mark? You startled me! Sorry, Mr. Hootie. Wow, Hootie, that was a fun party. What was your favorite pattern? I like the one that goes pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue. Do you know what? It made me feel like I'm having a popsicle. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I'm hungry now. But we don't have time for that because it's time to head over to our favorite scientist, Dr. Schmitz, with a science experiment about balancing. Oh, boy! <laughs> Look out! Hey! Watch it! Watch it, mister! Hello, boys and girls. Today, Dr. Schmitz is here. We're going to do some more fun science. I need a helper today, though, so I'm going to get Teacher Luke. Come on over here, Teacher Luke. Hey, Dr. Schmitz. All right, how are you doing today? I'm good. Excellent. Today, we're going to talk about balance. Do you like to have balance in your life? Oh, I do. That's good. Okay, I'm going to use this. This is going to be my big pusher thing today. What we're going to do is when you are balanced, it's going to be harder for you to fall over. But when you're not balanced, it's going to be easier for you to fall over, okay? Okay. Does that make sense? Makes sense. So, when your feet are together, put your feet together, okay? When your feet are together, you have a very small base, all right? And watch what happens when you get pushed. Oh! oh safety first. I don't want to touch him. He fell over real easy. But if he spreads his feet out nice and wide, if you have a wider base, it's going to be easier to balance because if you get pushed off on the one foot, the other foot will help protect you. Ready? Let's try it out. Ugh. Oh, he's so strong. Oh, that's pretty cool, hey? Science. Balance. Try it at home. That was some pretty cool stuff, boys and girls. I'd love to see it if you guys could try balancing at home with your grown-ups. And now, Hootie, you've got one last surprise for us. Yes! My latest movie! It is Ooh. very cool, although I had to wear glasses the whole time, so my eyes are a little, let's see, a little funny right now. Oh, no. Are you okay? Well, I just gotta watch where I'm going when I'm talking oh, over. Hootie, watch out. Sorry, sorry. It's my eyes, the glasses. Anyway, stay tuned for my next movie, where I become a wizard. <gasps> I can do magic, you. You better watch out, or I'm gonna turn you into a frog. Boy, it is a lonely world for me, Hootie Potter. I am so lonely. I just wish there was like magic in this world and like dragons and stuff and like maybe some castle. I just, I just need something exciting to happen. Whoa, hey, Fuzzy, what are you doing here? Actually for this, 
My name is not Fuzzy. My name is Hagrid. And by the way, I have some news for you. Good news? Yeah, maybe. You are a wizard, Hootie Potter. A wizard? I'm not a wizard, you silly goose. I'm an owl. No, Hootie, you can be you can be two things at once. You can be a wizard and an owl. No, I think I'll just be an owl. Well, you come back here right now. You're coming with me to Hogwarts. Oh, Wingdom Leviosota. Oh, hey, it's Lily Elsa, not Lily Elsa. Oh, well, excuse me. She must be very smart and good at wizard stuff. Can you help me with my homework? What? Boy, I have been at wizard school, Hogwarts school, for four years, and they still haven't taught me magic. It's like they don't trust me or something. Hey, look, Hootie, I just got a wand. What? I am very jealous. Oh, yeah, watch. I'm going to turn you into an owl. Have a good time, bro. What? I... I was already an owl! And now I'm gonna make you have glasses! Abracadabra! I'm starting to think you're not very good at magic! And now I'm gonna make you fly! Abracadabra! Wait, what? Wow! Oh, I still need to work on that. It's Liviosa. Boy, I am so happy that all three of us got put into Gryffindor House! We are going to be the best friends ever! In the bravest house ever! Ah, uh, Goody! I am sorry to interrupt, Hootie Potter, but I have some uh, kind of awkward news. I am in Slytherin House. Oh! Well, I mean, we can still be friends, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Gotta go. Oh! Well, maybe, can we be still be friends? It's maybe Elsa. Well, that might be hard. Boy, here we are at graduation day from Hogwarts. I learned so much this school year. I finally learned Wingardium Leviosa. Yeah, I had a really good time too. What did you do during the school year, Hootie? Um, I fought the Dark Lord. I won the Dry Wizard Crop. I rolled on a dragon. I turned invisible. Wow, sounds like you had a lot of fun in high school. Maybe I should have joined some clubs. It's Leviosa. Are you still on that, hey? That's everything for us here at the Active Kids Nightly News. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay dry, and have a good night. Have you, have you always worn glasses? Yeah, of course. Because mine went missing after I filmed the movie. Oh, come on! Thank you, boys and girls, for watching. We hope you guys have a great day. And let's get up and dance on out of here.